What up everybody, Mark Fusco here for Behind the Green Screen, the channel where I cover every aspect of how I make my Wine World TV show. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends to do the same. That helps the channel grow. Are you a YouTube lurker? Watch countless hours of videos on YouTube from people teaching you how to be successful on this platform. Yeah, I'm guilty of it too. I subscribe to a total of 132 channels as this as of this writing of the script on 125, though I've added, I think, a couple more since then. At least 80% of those channels are related to making content in general. The rest are fellow wine content people, general music channels, and other interests that don't directly relate to content creation on YouTube. Every single one of these content creation channels all say the same thing in relation to creating content. You gotta get in front of that camera and hit record. Hell, that's essentially one of the taglines for the intro to one of those channels. You can watch all the channels you want, absorb all that information, buy the latest and greatest gear, constantly tweak your ideas. You know what that does? Absolutely nothing if you don't get in front of the camera. It's hard. It's hard to expose yourself to potentially millions of people. What if I say something wrong? What if people don't like my content? What about someone being mean in the comments? Guess what? When you first start out, you have an audience of one, you. Maybe your family and close friends will watch a video or two out of courtesy or curiosity, but unless they are passionate about whatever subject you're passionate about, they won't watch, not on the regular. It's just you and that camera, so relax. Find a comfortable spot to make your content, or at least a place that makes sense. The kitchen table, the couch in your living room, your office, even your bedroom. Hey, that's not what I'm talking about. Well, if that's your goal, go ahead, but you're probably not gonna get that content here on YouTube. Most of my content happens at the unused dining room table. I've finally been able to take over this space on a semi-permanent basis, so that makes it easier to keep all my equipment set up. If you're able to do that, then that is ideal. For almost 10 years, I had to set up and take down everything, but eventually I was able to just leave everything set up and then just take it down when necessary. Figure out what you're passionate about. I'm passionate about wine. There aren't a lot of us on YouTube compared to the thousands of photographers, videographers, techies, musicians, makeup artists, etc., out there to compete with. But that also means the market for video wine reviews is smaller. Are you passionate about gardening, crocheting, chess, or something with more mass appeal, like what I mentioned before? Or even sports, politics, movies, TV, comics, it doesn't matter. Your voice, while similar, is still unique. You have a different perspective. And if it's the same as someone else, that's okay too. Still do what you can to make it yours. All you need is a way to record a video, an account on YouTube, and something you are passionate about. I can help you with all but that last part. I can't make you passionate about something, but maybe I can inspire you to embrace that passion and tell the world about it. When you first hit that record button, you're going to suck at it. It takes time to become comfortable talking to a camera. Some of us take to it a bit more naturally, but I can tell you that no one nails it the first time. You're going to stumble. I've done it multiple times in this video. Uh, you're going to flub. I've done that. You're going to forget things. You're going to make mistakes. Use all of that to get better. Put out the best content you can. Acknowledge you're new at it without playing the new guy card every five minutes. It's okay to trash an entire episode only to do it again at a later date. I can say that in my case with wine, that's not entirely possible since I'm reviewing wines for the first time, but my wine channel is not like 95% of the other review channels out there. I mean, if the channel is bad and I'm trying to review the wine as a first time review and I screw something up massively, I can't do a redo because I've already tasted the wine. But that's my take on things. There's lots of other wine review shows out there that they take their time, they make cuts and all that, so it's not necessarily their first impression of the wine. Or they may have had the wine in the past. Anyway, I digress. This channel is closer to what you are most likely going to do. Tell the world about something that you are able to plan and script out. You can even get familiar with the subject matter of the video you're going to make before committing to sitting in front of that camera. That's especially evident when you are doing um, product reviews of, say, something like an audio recorder, you got to test it out. Whereas reviewing wine, it's a first time thing, right? Even then you'll make mistakes. Even hundreds of shows later, as long as the content is good and everything else is good enough, then people will forgive a lot. With that said, do your best to not have out of focus, grossly overexposed video and avoid terrible sound. It's okay to use the audio coming from the camera itself at first. 
And in certain situations, it's kind of expected. Just do whatever you can to make it look and sound halfway decent when you're starting out. Just remember, everyone on YouTube started out with video and audio that doesn't look and sound nearly as good as it does today. Even if they started a couple months ago. I'm here to tell you it's okay. Write down your thoughts, make some notes, maybe even script out every word and memorize it in small chunks, or just script it out and read it like I'm doing. Find a comfortable place and tell yourself, quiet on the set, lights, camera, action, and just go do it. Once you take that first step, just like anything else in life, the second, third, fourth step, and more gets easier. But remember one thing, video is hard. Harder than a written blog, harder than doing an audio podcast. It takes longer to create. There's more that can go wrong, and it's more expensive. Countless blogs, podcasts, and yes, YouTube channels stopped after a dozen or so posts. Hmm. <laughs> in my case, I was going through a change on my main channel that directly affected what I was doing here. What's also hard with all these things is putting out what you know is great content, but the world isn't flocking to your door. If you're solely coming to this platform expressly to make money, realize that success doesn't happen overnight. Many of the people you see with hundreds of thousands of subscribers toiled for a few years, maybe even many years to get there. And many never get there. And that's where being passionate about whatever you're doing will be tested. So realize that you may have to walk away, rebrand, try something different, or maybe it just wasn't for you and you take that energy and go do a different route that isn't YouTube. This is as much me motivating you as it is for me to restart this concept for myself. Doing this channel is still an unknown for me and I already made 11 shows the first time. So join me in this journey and we'll get through it together. That's going to wrap up this episode. Make sure you click that subscribe button and like this video if you're getting value out of this and I'll see you next time.